Hello, I'm Zardis. Sit back, relax, grab some coffee, and let's build in Planet Zoo. Today, we are going to actually be filling in. We've got these two uh, habitats that are actually not really being used. We built them a while ago, and we didn't end up doing anything with them because they are in the reptile area and we finished all the reptiles that we wanted. So what I want to do is we're actually going to put some otters here. That was the wrong thing that, uh, yeah. So the other thing, okay, we're, you know, we're trying to save up our points. Oh, wow. We finished, com we completed research on something. So let's get researching. Uh, let's say, Oh, we finished drink shop, so that's good. Let's do... We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's just have them work on this one. And them work on that one. And you can see I've got the, the asterisk on the names of the ones that have planned to be our researchers. So that is the plan. But anyway, coming into animals... And that's not what I want. I want Zoopedia. When, if we do the otters, then we can get them in here I believe and that is the plan we're gonna go to market the other thing we're, you know we're saving up for more um, primates but they take a ton of conservation credits so we are going to focus then on getting otters which we can get for money and that should be pretty easy and I think what we'll do is we'll put them in here what we do need to do is try to change this a little bit I'm going to take the water back out and I want to get the ground. Yeah, we'll keep it short grass. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more this way. Although I think, okay, here, what we'll do is we'll bring it out over here like that, because we need a little bit less uh, water and a little bit more ground. Now, one thing we do need, though, is we need this to be deeper because they need some deep water. So we're going to go deep and then we'll flatten that a little bit in here. And that might be deep enough. I feel like it needs to be a little bit deeper there. There. And then we can come in here and we'll get the water back up to there. And that should be good. So now let's click on here and see what we've got for deep water it still says average is zero so that might not be good but we'll figure that out this water average water depth 46 centimeters it might be deep enough then and it is being treated and it has temperature regulation all right so let's go ahead and get some otters in here we need a male and we'll go with this one he's very fertile and then we need some females. We'll get these two. And we can get another male, actually. So now we can come in here and we're going to get all of these guys and send them to our quarantine to make sure that they're not sick before we send them out. And you can see, I don't really care about the inbreeding. It's not ideal, but it also, like, we want to generate as many animals as we can, really. That's the goal. Vet research complete. We'll get them working on... Uh, they can keep working on tigers, actually. So I think uh, another thing I want to do is make sure that we've got... Well, we can move those over in a minute. But we do need donation bins over in here. We've got a ton of benches. Also, let's double check. I think we should be fine with our barrier here but we need grade 2 3.3 feet so I think that will be fine let's double check here barrier is a grade 3 and it is one and a half meters that should be more than three feet yeah okay so we should be fine on that as well mechanic research complete they are really working hard on all kinds of stuff Okay, so now we should probably have those otters pretty much done soon. I want to see... Quarantine. Yep, they are ready. One, two, three, four. Move, and they're going to go here. 
And I want to make sure that this is already in a work zone, which it should be. It should be this one, maybe? No, I want center. Yeah, there we go. And it is in that work zone, so that is good. And we can come in here and we are going to get habitat. We want is it like a European otter, I think. Nope. What is that called? Asian small clawed otter. I was close, right? No, I wasn't at all. Asian small clawed otter. Here we go. Okay, so we want, yeah, we can get some jetties in here. Man, that's huge. We are going to do smaller ones. Bring this out. There's an otter already. I'm gonna bring another one out just like that. And one more out a little bit further. So they've got a nice thing going out in there. Let's go ahead and click on him and check on. We need more deep water. So we're going to go ahead and take the water back out. And we got to make this deeper. Make sure that we have the right soil and we are going to go deeper here. But the thing to remember is that this is deep enough. And it's mad about these jetties. So we're going to go ahead and move them out of the way. There we go. And then let's see if that's enough water. So we can do that. And then the otters, we can click on them again and see. We've got enough deep water. We've got enough of everything of water wise. So we're going to move this back over here. Put it right in the middle and then we can see what else they need terrain wise. Terrain, they now need hard shelter and all of the rest of their terrain is fine. So we're in really a great start here. Hard shelter. Now, are they a burrowing animal? It looks like they are not. So we need an actual shelter. Kind of like this log shelter for them. It's a little bit big. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause and we will build one. But kind of take that same idea. Here's another one. We could bring this down. Maybe we just give them that. Put that right there. Unpause. That might be all the hard shelter they need. Yeah. And then we need to get some bedding in there, though. So we'll get them grass. Have them use leaves for their bedding. That should work. And then we'll put some leaves out on this jetty, too. Okay. Then we can give them a rubber duck. That's always fun. And I don't know... Okay, first of all, we need actual food. Let's get them a large food tray over here. And we'll get them a few other things to play with. Like a bubble machine here. Try that again. And not an ice ball. But let's get them... Yeah, see, I don't know if they eat underwater fish. But we'll go ahead and put that down there, just in case. And then we'll give them a ball as well. So now they should have a lot of fun. Enrichment, they need more toys, okay. I have a ball floating over here too. Yeah, they've got better toys now, but let's get them one more toy. Go ahead and put an ice ball over there. And, oh, a mud bath would be great. Okay, actually, we're going to move this closer to the door. We're going to move this bubble over to here. And then we're going to try to get a mud bath in here. Okay, that'll work. So now, Enrichment is very good. They want some interspecies bonus. What can we get in here? So the otter, they actually could get along with the orangutan. Interesting. And 
and then they'd get a bonus. If we moved them over here, they'd be with the orangutan. They'd be hard to see. That's the only thing. Yeah, I think we'll have to skip that. Let's find something else that they can go with. Because we could always take this fence out and combine the two uh, shelters or habitats. We could get rhinoceros in here. How much space do they need? They need a bit. They need a male and a female. Or even they could just get by with just one. Actually, a thousand meters. This is not quite big enough. They need a thousand land meters. So, yeah, if we took this fence out, we could probably get the rhinoceros in here. Technically, the otters might be able to escape, actually. Let's check that. Habitat traversable, yep. They can escape. Walkable escape point. So what I think I want to do is we're going to box up all of the animals here. Just for a minute. Box all animals. Pause, and we're going to do a bit of editing here. I'm going to take this fence out and we're going to take this out that disrupts water placement okay we're going to take out the water we're going to take out the paths Let's see what happens with the people in a minute but then we're going to come back in here to barriers and take that out put a barrier back in there and combine this back and then we want to take out this gate that path can come out too okay so now we've got this area what sort of thing do we need for the rhinoceros what sort of fence we need grade four six point six feet high so we're gonna go ahead and switch this all the way around to concrete concrete and then we're gonna go up to about four meters and then from here we're going to get one-way glass oh good that worked out the right way and now we can get the water back in here that's a little too high i want it there okay so now this i should be able to unpause otherwise people will be moved to where they're supposed to be and we can unbox all the animals in here. So now you should have a lot more space. Yes. And we should be able to come in here now and get some of these. And then uh, we can't. Okay. So uh, the other thing, if we don't do the rhinoceros, the binturong doesn't need much space at all. And it could also go with the tapir. So we could then get three animals in here. Or we could stick with the clawed otter with the rhinoceros. Because I don't think we can fit the wild water buffalo. Yeah, he can't get along. Or at least they don't get the enrichment bonus. I think what we'll do these two would be too small, I think. I think we'll go ahead and get a rhinoceros in here. I think it would be pretty cool to have one. Uh, they take... They take points. Don't want to do points. Okay, there's overfighting in here. We're going to find why. Outsider. This one got mature. How old are they? I want to see view animal management. Bengal tiger. Okay, so we've got these two are the adults. We're going to go ahead and release the child to the wild. 200 points for that. Beautiful. That's really helpful. Now, back in here. Okay, so now we've got this big thing. Let's go ahead and unpause. See what else we can add for them then. We have land area. 
And we have plenty of water, which is going to be good for everything. But I mean, we could get a bigger jetty. Now, I don't think we need the bigger jetty, though. It's just really hard to decide what animals to put in here because we know, okay, the temperature is not right. They need a better temperature. What temperature do they need? They need 63, so we need heaters. 63 degrees, here's the heaters. And we need this to be heated to 64. Doesn't need to be super hot. Don't want to spend too much money. But we do want to make sure that they're not cold. That's better, and we can come in here and the temperature. Let's go to the temperature regulator. Let's keep the temperature at 64 as well. So hopefully that won't be too cold. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get one rhinoceros. And the reason that I want to go ahead and get just one is because we have the points, and in the next week I can get some more points by logging in and before I do the next episode. So we're going to send this to quarantine. And then, man, it is so dark because of that rain. The otter is about to mate already. That's good. It's really shallow here. And then it gets deep. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. I want to get some uh, decoration in here, some uh, landscaping. But for now, I kind of like, I like the way this is set up. Although I think over here, we're actually, I'm going to take the water back out and we're going to get a little bit more land over here. Because I think it'll be the right thing to do. We'll get a little bit like that. And then what I'm going to do is deepen it over here. And then we'll keep the water. Can we go a little bit deeper? See, if we go that deep, just too deep. And that's just a little, I mean, I guess that's about where we had it. So then we've got small pools there and there for the rhinoceros and then a deeper spot there. So the otters can swim all over in there. That'll be good. Okay. Let's check on that uh, rhinoceros. We have so many here. Indian rhinoceros in quarantine. You are ready to go. Here we go here. We have so many gharials. I can't wait to be able to start releasing them to the wild. But they take a while to grow. So like this zoo, we've set up so that when it is time, we will be really ready to be like taking advantage of a whole bunch of stuff. Now, Indian. I don't like any of those shelters. We'll just do here. We could do a log, a big log shelter now. I'm just going to bring it down. Although that's going to be too small. Here comes the rhinoceros. Okay, so what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and get different enrichment. Put a skittle there. Rubbing pillar out there. What, what I'm trying to do is trying to make it so that they try to, or we are like trying to get them. Is this float? Awesome, yeah. I'm trying to get them to be close to the window, essentially. Because... If they come close to the window, then people can see them. We'll put that in the water too. Hopefully they can swim that deep. And then we need to get a large food trough for them. Eventually we'll get a, a female as well. But for now, let's see, you have a lot of what you need. You need more hard shelter. Yeah, we'll work on that next and you need better terrain. You want more long grass. Can get that. Long grass over on this side. And a bit in there. You've got too much soil. You want more short grass too. 
some semi short grass over here, then hopefully, we're not disrupting the otters too much. Otters want a little bit more short grass and a little bit less soil. Okay, so that's fine. They're happy with that, and you're happy with that. Very good. We just need to get you more hard shelter. So, I think what we'll do is we will edit this. I'm going to pause. And what I want to do is move some of this stuff over. We've got all these, and we're gonna move this whole thing over like that, and maybe even up. Yeah, and then what I want is we're going to duplicate this. Uh, it's not quite the way I wanted to duplicate it. I was hoping to be able to just go right over that way, but that's okay like that, and then this, what, okay, yeah, what is this, New World, oh no, uh, yeah, New World Mural, interesting, can this rotate, it can, look at that, okay, so what I want to do then, is we're going to also get this up over, and I want this to go up a little bit more, that and then we're gonna do another one so the way I like to play planet zoo is to just really work with what you have you can also go on the workshop and get a whole bunch of awesome stuff but I think this is gonna be really great so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this stuff not that put these logs because we're going to get this to be in the right spot now we can bring it down like that and maybe over just a tiny bit and then this is going to move ever so slightly this way we want it to be about centered like it is on the other side and then we want to get some more of these cross beams in place too actually all of these logs will need to be replaced or like duplicated because this is all part of the support. Just visually, it's part of the support. Do this again. Okay, and then we need these things. They need to come over and be part of this. Oh, right, they have to go up higher. And actually, this should come to about here, so we're gonna have to add another log, too. Yeah, and then it needs to be over a little bit more. Right there. So then we're going to come in here and grab that log. Just add one more up a bit. There we go. So now we've got a modified shelter. And if we unpause and find our rhinoceros right here, thinking about going in the water, we find that they have enough hard shelter now. So let's go ahead and get a big bed there, though. There we go. And there goes the rhinoceros. Let's see if they can swim in the deep water. Yes. Very good. They can swim. They can get all over the place. They can barely have their no. I mean, look at that. They're not, their mouth is not under the, or not above the water. How are they breathing? Well, whatever. They're happy. I'm happy. Nutrition could be improved, but that, again, that goes into other things. So I think this is good. So we've got a lot of people here. Let's get some education boards up. Duplicate this. This is going to be for the otters. Kelly, we, I just want to get several in. We'll get four of them. Okay, and then we'll go up to the top here. Otter. And rhinoceros. And rhinoceros. And that is that. So we've got another habitat done. Oh, wait, we need terrain or uh, nature. So what kind of nature do we need? We want, these are both from Asia, so we want to come in here 
we'll get temperate. Actually, let's go ahead and remove these plants. Which ones are they wanting me to take out? That's all fine. Okay, and then we want Asia. Yeah, this is a pretty pine. A couple of those in. And I get another pretty one in. I don't want to have too much coverage because it's already starting to complain. But I will put a little bit of bamboo in here if we can. Because I like bamboo. And it gives them a little bit of space to hide. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this keep snapping. I don't want to snap to the surface. Put that there. Yeah, they're fine with the bamboo. It gives the otters the chance to hide back there. And that will really help. Get a broken cherry blossom tree in. And then we'll get an actual cherry blossom in. Because those are really pretty trees. And we'll really add to this. Yeah. I like that. And then we need to get some water lilies and things like that. Just to really add a little bit to the water. Is what I want to do now. Let's check on some of this. We can get a few underwater things too, which will... Again, nobody can see this, but it adds just a little bit of realism. To have a little bit of underwater life and stuff like that. Can't tell reeds. Uh, we've got too much coverage now. Yeah, too much coverage. Are they mad about it or are we fine? We're fine. They're not going to complain too much, but I like that. I think that looks a bit better. We can go with that. All right, so that's it. We made good progress. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click on the video on the screen. It'll take you to another one that you will thoroughly enjoy. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.